jälleen kerran tervetuloa seuraamaan naisten avointa biljardin kymppipallo turnausta tänne Kampin keskukseen. Semifinaalit tässä käynnissä ja tilanteet ovat sellaiset, että minun oikealle puolella mustassa paidassa Ine Helvik Ruotsista on tappiotilanteessa Suomen Marika Poikki joka vastaan 7-4 ja ottelu pelataan kahdeksaan voittoon eli Marika on yhden voiton päässä. Toisella pöydällä tilanne 7-5, Italian Barbara Bolfellin hyväksi, häntä vastassa Ruotsin Caroline Ruud. Ilmeisesti tuolta ylhäältä lensi jotain äsken tähän pöydälle, jotain kosteita, ties mitä ikinä, joten pyytäisitte, että kunnioittakaa pelaajia hieman. Älkääkä heitelkö mitään sieltä tai saatte meidän vartijat perään. Pelin nimi siis kymppi pallo, jossa aina pitää lyödä sitä pienempi numeroista palloa. Jos olette joskus pelanneet ysi palloa, niin periaatteessa sama homma yhdellä pallolla lisättynä. From the background, you can hear the tournament director, <coughs> Tom Milamina, introducing the game to the audience here in Kampi. Marika is now aiming for a safety shot. Karola Roos on the other semi-final table is breaking and is now only 5-7 behind. It's a good safety from uh, Marika. She would have wanted the two ball to rest on the top cushion on the rail, but from this position, I don't see any easy attacking for Ina Helvik. She's going to try just on the two ball to the left, no, to the right side cushion and uh, excellent cue ball control she snookered Marika Marika is behind the six ball so she cannot use a direct shot so she will use a jump shot she gets her jump cue it's going to elevate it and with a downward motion, she will make the cue ball jump over the six and pocket the two ball. Oh, she makes the jump shot. It's not always easy but doesn't manage to pocket the ball, so Helvik on the table. Maybe a combination of two to eight. Okay, she's playing a two-way shot, playing the two to the cross side corner and also leave the cue ball near the three and nine or at least trying she makes the luckily the ball <laughs> Marika was didn't see or hear the call of the pocket it was the right pocket 
even though a bit, little bit lucky with the uh, cue ball hitting the two on the way but she leaves herself snookered on the three she's elevating her shaft and this is not a jump shot I think this is a uh, masse yes trying to swerve around but uh, hitting the nine ball just needed a little bit more on the swerve but didn't quite manage to hit the three so cue ball in hand eight balls left eight balls for a victory come on Marika you can do it She's settling her nerves. Really taking her time. Thinking about the position to the five. Pocketing the four is of course easy. It's not the question about the four anymore. It's about the five and six later on. These pro players usually think ahead maybe even hold through the rack ah oh, she was trying to get a the cue ball stop with the nine but she misses the nine That's a nice, very long five ball. And now again, it looks like it's a little bit easier. But uh, it's that ominous, infamous last frame to win. Let's see. Uh, thank you, uh, of course, for tuning in to this live stream. There are 55 viewers currently online. This will be recorded also, so the match can be viewed from Ustream site later on. But Thanks for tuning in. I'm pretty sure that you have been sharing the link. <laughs> Please keep on doing so. Uh, the final will start right after these matches. The girls will take a short break. They will be interviewed. After the both semifinals have stopped, we will interview the players. And you can hear the interviews on the stream. And then we'll continue with the final. There's a nice crowd here in Kampi. Remember, you can also join in. If you live in Helsinki area, we are playing in Kampi. The shopping mall. <sighs> she is at least partially snuggered herself on the 8th. Figuring out what to do with uh, maybe a safety shot, stop shot there. Let the uh, eight ball roll, two, three frames, uh, cushions. No, chose uh, the easier route and, and looks to be 
safe on this one. Had Helvik will now have a chance to make a better or even bank the eight on the other semi-final table. Carolyn Roos almost pocketed the cue ball while missing the 10, but leaving Barbara Bolfelli hooked on the corner shot. The cue ball was almost in the pocket. Barbara tried to hit the 10 ball from one fr from using one cushion, but um, didn't manage to hit the 10 ball, so Karol Roos now almost evening the game. Barbara still leading 7-6 and these games are both played to 8 wins, best of 17. 8 frames to win the game. It's a good safety shot from Helvig. Marika needs to use the top cushion. She's trying to make the eight to this left bottom uh, pocket. Looking good. No. Oh. Well, good hit. And a little bit lucky on the roll. And. Uh, that's a safety shot in my book. Ine Helvik again. Making another safety shot. Marika can cut this in, I'm pretty sure. It's not an easy shot. She could also make a safety shot. She's aiming to make the eight to the bottom right corner. Come on, Marika. Yes. Good shot from Marika. Two more balls. And you're in the final. Looking good, looking good. Now, the 10 ball. It's a huge ball. <laughs> it's almost double the size of every other ball on the table. Yes! Ensimmäinen finalisti naisten avaimessa kymppipallo turnauksessa selvitetty, eli Marika Poikkioki Suomesta Espoossa finaalissa. Finaali alkaa noin puolen tunnin kuluttua. Annetaan vielä aplodit Marikalle. What a nice win ja for the Finnish champion, 8-5. Ine Helvikille, joka sijoittui kolmanneksi. Big round of applause to Ine, Ine Helvik, from Norway. third in the tournament.
thank you for viewing the semi-final Ian Helvik from Norway just lost, lost the match to Marika Poikioki from Finland 8-5 we will be continuing we will try to show you the little bit of the other semi-final if we can and we will continue with the final in maybe 15-20 uh, minutes so stay tuned <laughs>